So if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything that there is to know about living in and around Baltimore, Maryland, be sure to hit that notification bell, subscribe below so that you can stay current on everything we've got going on here in Baltimore. I'm Mike Maslinski. And I'm Kelly Shewitt with the W Home Group of Next Up Realty. And we're so excited to share with you all the reasons we love living in and around Baltimore and helping others do the same. If you wanna connect with us, all of our contact information is below. So reach out any way that's convenient for you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest now or in the future, it's never too early to start that conversation. Today, we're in one of Baltimore's newest neighborhoods and it's so new that it's still being developed right now. So especially if you are moving to the area, want something, that you can literally build from the ground up, or maybe you're an investor looking for something that hasn't been discovered yet, this neighborhood might be for you. Baltimore Peninsula is one of Baltimore's newest and fastest growing neighborhoods. So if you're looking to move to the city or thinking about an investment, this might be your opportunity to get in on the ground level. Let's go check out Baltimore Peninsula. Baltimore Peninsula, which is formerly known as Port Covington, is the new ambitious and transformative development project located on the waterfront in South Baltimore. This area is completely of mixed use development and it's aiming to create a new upscale, vibrant, sustainable community with a blend of residential, commercial, and recreational spaces. And here's a detailed overview of the Baltimore Peninsula. The Baltimore Peninsula aims to be a mixed use development with residential, commercial, and retail spaces, as I said, along with public amenities, actually a lot of green spaces. The development focuses on sustainability, incorporating green building practices, renewable energy, and environmentally friendly infrastructure. This project is designed to spur economic growth in Baltimore, which is always a good thing, creating jobs, attracting businesses, and enhancing the city's overall appeal. In the early 2010s, Under Armour's founder, Kevin Plank, through his private real estate firm, Sagamore Development, began acquiring land in the Port Covington area. The goal was to develop the area into a world-class mixed-use community and establish Under Armour's global headquarters there. Since then, they've added Sagamore Rye Distillery and a waterfront restaurant. From there, they're building in mixed use buildings which are available to purchase or to rent and if you're looking for a really unique experience and a vantage point of the water in baltimore that most people don't get to see this is a really exceptional neighborhood to explore whether you want to move there or you just want to enjoy a date night out or a different point of view from baltimore city it's a really fun neighborhood and like we said it's still extremely up and coming to a point where it is not even built out yet i'm here at baltimore peninsula's newest townhomes these are essentially right on the water, which is absolutely incredible. And I don't know when the last time they built brand new homes on the water, but hey, these are called Lock Landing and they're built by DRB Homes. And I'm gonna show you both models today. We have the Bridgeton and the Rockwell. The Bridgeton goes for about $554,000. And the Rockwell goes for about $655,000. Now, you may be asking, they look exactly the same. Well, the Rockwell is about 2,500 square feet, where the Bridgeton is about 200, or excuse me, 2,000 and, or 2,200 square feet, call it. So, this one that we're gonna see today, these are anywhere from two to four bedrooms, and these, are anywhere from three to five bedrooms. So we'll go into the Bridgeton first, show you that one, and then we'll see, hey, does, does this Rockwell even make sense at almost $100,000 more? I probably think so. I haven't even gone in yet, but these are definitely worth checking out. So let's go. Okay, so we're here in the Bridgeton. This is right as you enter. Again, they've made, you can basically convert these anywhere to be a two bedroom, all the way up to a four bedroom. And then there's mix and match combinations that you can make, which is, I, I think is actually really cool. And the good news about this whole uh, lock landing area is that DRB is offering a ton of incentives. So make sure you reach out to my buddy, Chris and myself, and we'll make sure we get you the best incentives and kind of play the game as to what makes the most sense for you and you know your time frame. I'm here right as you walk in. The good news is, we've talked about this many times before, 
they have garages, so that means parking. So you're not gonna have to worry about any parking over here, especially since it's, it's so new anyway. I don't think it would ever be a problem, but let's go through this and I'll point out some of the things that I like. Uh, and there's a lot to like, I'll tell you that much. All right, so we're here, come in the front door and this is like a rec area. So essentially, um, and then there's a bathroom right there. So essentially you can make this a bedroom. So there would be a wall right here and you can make a small bedroom. Now that would probably be enough for like a queen at the most, but I still think that's a good thing. Um, me personally, I like having a rec area. You know, it makes things more open, especially if you're gonna add a bedroom or two to this. Um, I would, but I would prefer that this be um, kind of open like this. But most people, they're probably gonna wanna wall it off. And then we come in here, you have a coat closet there to your right. The garage is out there. And then this is our bathroom. So look, these are really nice finishes. And mind you, look at these floors. We got wide playing floors and they're not gray. Thank the heavens, right? My goodness. These are my favorite, wide plank and light colored. So bathroom here. Now this can be a full bathroom if you want it to be. Obviously when you add uh, additions, the price goes up, but, and then you can just see it's a single car garage. That's one thing about the, uh, the Bridgeton is it's a one car garage as opposed to the Rockwell, it's a two car garage. So it depends on what you've got going on and, and your needs, obviously. All right, let's take a look upstairs. Okay, we're here upstairs. This is absolutely beautiful. So we have a, uh, let's see what this is. Is it a coat closet or a bathroom? It's a coat closet. But we come upstairs and this is what we've got. I mean, this is really nice. Not everything is white, which I really like. And obviously you can pick all the colors and the accents and all that, but this is just done really, really nicely, right? So you can see it's really high end. I much prefer these than a Ryan home or anything like that. Um, but this is just absolutely beautiful. And these are so new that they're literally building them on the other side of, of that glass. Um, so there's a lot still available, which is really nice. I'm not showing you something that's not available. The good news is the powder room is not in the kitchen. It's off the kitchen. So a lot of these new builds, you'll see these, these powder rooms are right up on top of the kitchen. And that just makes it uh, kind of like gross to me, but um, this one is not. You can see all the construction going on out there. Um, but it does come off a, a little Trex deck. It's not the biggest deck, but it's big enough to put a grill out there. But you'll notice there's a ton of natural light in here, right? Ton of natural light. So these windows are basically oversized, uh, which in a good way. And, uh, you know, letting a lot of natural light in. Notice they don't have like the, the pegs out of them and making them like squares. Nice, bright, and open. That's, that's, you're definitely seeing that a lot more now. But I love this, this living room. This is, I mean, really nice, right? Perfect for a TV. We have a sectional here. So at 2,200 square feet, right? at the most, but it's more like 2,000 square feet. Um, this is what you get. So it's, look, if I'm standing right down the middle, it's not the widest, it's not the smallest, but at, you know, almost 560,000, it's really nice. All right, the key to these homes is gonna be the bedroom situation. What does that look like? How big are they? And can you get more than one master suite? Is that an option? All right, let's check that out and uh, I'll show you what I like the most. And at the end, it's gonna be the best. All right, so we're here, we're upstairs. And you can just see, this is really nice. You got, so you have your washer dryer right there in the middle. It's a stacked washer dryer. They're making good use of the space here. It's not an oversized area. 
like a lot of these newer builds are where they're making it like a whole thing that just takes away from your bathroom your, or a closet. Um, so I like to see that. And here's the, the, uh, the primary suite. So it's on the back side of the home, right? We have two closets as you enter on the right hand side, but you can see just how nice this thing is. Absolutely beautiful. That's a king size bed as well. So don't have to worry about that if you're married or have a partner or what have you. But really good view here. Double sinks in there, we'll get to that. And then here's the closet situation. A little bit of a his and hers type. They're both the same, don't worry. And then we walk in here. So this is why you don't go nuts with the, uh, the laundry. So you can get a nice big bathroom like this and maximize the space. Absolutely gorgeous. Toilet in there. And that's probably my favorite part. So number one, we have glass. Thank the high heavens for that. Um, but notice all the gold accent throughout the home. I love that. Stays throughout, which is nice. But nice gold rainfall shower. Woo! Nice high ceiling. And then we have a bench here. Beautiful. All right. Very, very nice. That's a pretty nice master suite, if you ask me. Um, look, it's not the widest, it's not the biggest. You, you do have the ability to, um, you know, spend the same amount of money and get a bigger home, albeit it will be used, as they say, or already lived in. So, hey, if that's something you want, make sure you let me know in the comments and we'll go right over to Federal Hill because that's what's right on the other side of Baltimore Peninsula and Locust Point too, but um, let's check out this other bedroom. So you got the, you're on the front side of the home, nice closet here, little cutout area for a dresser. So notice there's not a walk-in closet, right? But you do have a lot of space here. Nice ceiling fan. Really nice. And that's the other good part about this. You have your own bathroom. So whoever's living in this room has their own bathroom. And you know what? They still got the gold accents on, on, um, on all the hardware. So that's really nice. And I'm actually digging this tile floor too. Really nice. Beautiful. Nice accent there, accent tile. Okay, so we've seen the two bedrooms, right? I mentioned that it could be either two or four, right? So going upstairs is gonna be a treat. My favorite part of the home. Okay, so this has a lot of different combinations. You could technically make a bedroom up here and have a rec space, or you could just have it as a rec space. And this one has it as a bedroom and a rec space. So let's check it out. So we're coming up the stairs. Notice the stairs are stay, the, or the uh, flooring stays the same throughout. So this one is uh, categorized as another owner suite. This one does have carpet in it, which, hey, you know I love carpet. Oversized windows. It does have a walk-in closet, okay. The others do not, but the bathrooms are different, right? So for me and my money, I like this for the primary suite. And that's not a, a, a king size bed, but it could be. Um, so I'm interested in the different layouts that you could get. Because this shower is obviously not as nice as the other shower, albeit it's extremely beautiful and brand new. 
and we're still getting that gold, but I mean, he's got a double vanity as well, but you got to think, how many pieces of clothing do I have? Is this closet going to be better for me and for me? And if I'm talking personally, my wife would be much better off with the closet with, that I can walk into. All right. That being said, rec area. So not only do we have an, um, a patio outside, rooftop deck, we do have a nice little study area, right? Desk. And then a wet bar. So obviously these are extras and they, uh, the prices go up when you start adding things like all this, but you can just see how nice it really can be if you do do these additions. I'd rather have, I think, based on you know what we've seen thus far, I think I might wanna have that third bedroom in the basement, I'm not sure. Just depends, like if you have kids maybe, you probably don't want them in the basement, um, but uh, that's, it depends what you're looking for. But I would probably rather this be a fully open space so that I can make it like a man cave type situation, but it's hard to say. And then obviously you have your rooftop here. And I mean, this thing is, there's water. This, this is as close as you can possibly get to waterfront living without being like in Annapolis or somewhere else at these kind of prices. It's beautiful out there. And they're building. And we haven't even talked about the Under Armour complex being built right over there, which is gonna be insane. All right, so that's the Bridgeton. If that's for you, let me know in the comments or if you want a home that's kind of like this, a newer home, it doesn't have to be necessarily down here in uh, downtown Baltimore, but if you're looking for something literally brand new, the area is being developed, you're going to get on the ground floor because once you do that, the prices just keep going up. Let me know in the comments, we'll book that call, we'll come out here, we'll take a look, see if it's a fit for you. But until then, let's go over to the Rockwell and see if that's a better fit. Okay guys, we're here in the Rockland. This thing, I can already tell you it's better. Uh, if money is not, a, not an issue, I mean, it's like night and day. I mean, this is definitely more my vibe. However, the other one might be more your vibe, but if you can afford this one, this one is gorgeous. So I'm right in here at the front door. I'll spin this around and you're gonna love this. So the same thing applies with the setups. So this could be a bedroom, but as you see, this is like a media room slash office. I mean, good God, beautiful. And this is obviously an end unit, this model. But I mean, come on, seriously, look at this thing. Those are built-ins too, gold accents, they're back. But the wide plank floors also, and you get the nice doors on it so it closes up. Absolutely gorgeous. So that could be a bedroom though. And then you come in here and you have a full bath. So there's definitely the availability to have a larger family or larger group of people living here. Look how high the ceilings are. Our first non-gold accent but absolutely gorgeous. Nice wallpaper. All right, let's go upstairs um, and let's see if this thing's wide or wide enough comparatively to the other one. And what I do like about this one is the color of the steps. Like, that's a pretty wide staircase. That's definitely wider than next door too. Ooh, look at those ceilings. 
I said it before, but it's just really nice to get on the ground floor of new, new construction and new development. So not only are these homes new, but the whole area is brand new. This is Dave, Kevin Plank and Under Armour and his uh, development company have put in so much money and uh, focus to making this area essentially spectacular, brand new. Cause it was all industrial before, a lot of abandonment and things like that. So the revitaliz revitalization of all this is just extraordinary. Something that I would love to be a part of. So let's spin this around. We're in the dining. But look how much bigger this bad boy is. Holy cow. Waterfall. Island. Absolutely gorgeous. Look how much wider this is. So we just, we did that same, the same shot down the other one. Look how much wider this is. Look how the stairs go up on the side. The bathroom is still back there in the corner, which is nice. It's not on top of the kitchen like it always is. And the, also a good feature is this walk-in pantry. I mean, I'm definitely spending more money to have a walk-in pantry, but then also essentially, as you see me in the mirror, a really nice bathroom. This is really cool. It's a pretty big powder room, actually. All right. And then what you've all been waiting for is the living space. I love what they've done with the ceiling, with some of those exposed beams. I don't know if they're faux or not, if they're real, but really nice paneled um, area for not only a fireplace, but the TV. Really like that. Look how big, once I turn around here, the sliding glass door is. It's huge. And it brings in so much light to the area. Like this is all essentially natural light. The two lights are on there, but they're pretty dim here in person. But just look how big these are. They are that's a huge sliding glass door. This is a really nice space. And obviously it's staged extremely well. But just, I hope that I'm doing it justice as to how much wider and bigger and more open this feels than the Bridgeton. All right. I'm absolutely loving this house. Hopefully upstairs is, is just as nice as this because it's crazy. Okay, upstairs, we have a hallway bathroom, right? With nice tiling. Then we also have a washer dryer. So as I said, it's not a stackable. So look, you, you're definitely losing some space by doing that, right? But Maybe that's an option we can change. We'd have to talk. And then we have two bedrooms there. So let's go to these two bedrooms. Obviously these are gonna be a little bit smaller, um, but not too small. This looks like it's set up for an office, but it's pretty big. Double doors here for closet. Very nice. It's a full size bed in here. It's beautiful. And then look at those ceilings. Ooh. Oh man. Tons of natural light in here. And then the, the ceiling connects to that, which is also very nice. Hopefully that doesn't go out of style. And you can see all the walls are textured. I'm sure that's an add-on. That's one thing we would have to find out. 
This is the primary, which is absolutely nuts, but we're gonna go into the bathroom first. Look at this, look at this tile. Very beautiful. So this is your shared bathroom. Very nice. Right. And then this is the primary. Oh man, look at that. Look at that ceiling. This is a much bigger room than the primary than the other one, right? Much bigger room. And then obviously we have a walk-in closet here, which is much better in my opinion, especially if it's a master suite. And then, the dual vanities. And then, really nice shower as well with the seat. Look how high those ceilings are. It's probably one of my favorite aspects of it. That is a beautiful bedroom, my goodness. Okay. All right, one more floor, one more floor. Obviously, this has been three beds so far. Obviously, one more could be downstairs, and then another one could be up here on the top floor. And, oh my God, you're gonna love this. This is it. This is it. <sighs> bedroom, bathroom, rec room. Are you kidding me? That is a rec room, if I've ever seen one. And that's also a rooftop deck if I've ever seen one. So you notice how big the um, doors are, but whew. coat closet over there. So you could definitely make this another bedroom and have a smaller like um, area here where the, the wet bar is, but when you've got this, why would you do that? My God, it was absolutely gorgeous. And then we have our bathroom, gold accents are back. And back with a vengeance too, they look beautiful in here. I like this navy top, beautiful navy top. Really nice. Just really, really nice. And then this is a smaller bedroom. So between the two, even though there's a hundred thousand dollars difference, obviously the Rockwell is much larger, and probably most people prefer that. But obviously, you're definitely got to, you're definitely paying for it. Obviously, so depending on your budget, depending on your lifestyle, depending on your your family situation or your living situation, let me know which you would prefer and which would be better for you, the Brighton or the Rockwell. Let me know in the comments. Okay, and finally, we're here at Under Armour's new global headquarters, right here next to Lock Landing in the Baltimore Peninsula. This is an absolutely gorgeous campus, over 280,000 square feet, equipped with a huge brand new NCA certified athletic field slash stadium, and tons of green initiatives to help bring life into Baltimore. This facility is absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna be a mix of office, retail, and fitness space, along with obviously its global headquarters. It's a five-story, 75-foot building with an East Coast orientation, and Under Armour is hoping to open everything 
by the end of 2024. The hope is that the buildings will help bring other jobs and other spaces into the city and help revitalize this area, which was once old industrial um, mines and, and facilities. Now it's completely green. You've got all this beautiful stuff and it's, it's really looking up for the city of Baltimore. All right, so that's Baltimore, that's Baltimore Peninsula in a nutshell. The most brand new up and coming area in Baltimore. So if you're looking to either move in to the area, move around the area, or move out of the area, Kelly and I are happy to help you start that journey and get things moving in the right direction. So whether it's nine days or 90 days, be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or better yet, book a call below and we'll get this process started for you ASAP. I'm Mike Mislinski, she's Kelly Schuett, and we're with the W Home Group of Next Step Realty. Be sure to catch out our other videos in and around the city, and we'll catch you next time.